All right, all right. Welcome to the Old Newbies VR Show, where we talk about VR in a business perspective. But today, I wanted to address a Reddit post that I saw today that was basically a troubleshooting post where a person was having a problem with their monitor. Now, the issue that he was having was when he went to go shut down his computer or go to uh, put it in suspend or to sleep, the computer monitor would go on and it would go off and would go on and off and behave erratically, powering on and off. One of the troubleshooting steps that he took was to replace the cable he was using, a DisplayPort cable, with an HDMI cable. And once he did that, the issue went away. As soon as he just hooked up his DisplayPort cable back, the monitor started acting erratically again. So once I saw this post, it immediately made me think of the DisplayPort Pin 20 issue. Now, the DisplayPort Pin 20 issue is an issue that not too many people know about, but it has been plaguing the PC community for a very long time. And it is a potentially very harmful issue that not many people know about. And so I wanted to do this video to kind of raise awareness about it. So what is the Pin 20 issue? Well, your DisplayPort devices like a video card and a monitor have display port and on those display port connections on pin 20 it carries a voltage 3.3 volts so a video card that has a display port has 3.3 volts on its pin 20 a monitor that has a display port connection has 3.3 volts on its display port connection now the issue comes with the display port cable a Visa standard DisplayPort cable that has been certified does not connect on pin 20. On the cable, on one end of the cable to the other end of the cable, pin 20 does not have a copper connection, does not have a connection of continuity going from either end. It is not normal through. And the reason why it's not it's because your source device, like a video card, and your receiving sync device, like a monitor, has voltages. And if a DisplayPort cable actually connects through on pin 20, you could be backfeeding voltage from the monitor to your video card, which would potentially damage your video card or your monitor over time. So you can see how this can be a very potentially a troubling issue that could damage your equipment and unfortunately it's not one that has been raised in the the PC and electronics community and a lot of people are suffering from it and not understanding why or knowing why and this is really something that video card companies and monitor manufacturers really need to really hear about know about and start to address because a lot of these monitor manufacturers are including these non-standard display port cables in with their monitors when they sell them. And it's a cost saving measure that they use these cheap cables, but what they're not doing is checking to make sure that those cables are certified and don't have the connectivity on pin 20. And unfortunately, a lot of these cheap display port cables don't adhere to the standard and they connect that pin 20 through their cables and they are potentially destroying a lot or damaging a lot of computer equipment that connect video cards to monitors. Okay, so let's, and so I said a lot, so let's uh, take a look at what I'm talking about because a picture is worth a thousand words. So let's uh, go ahead and switch over to my desktop so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I am going to pull up my desktop and pull up a diagram so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, there you are. So here's my desktop. And here is a typical DisplayPort cable. Let me zoom in. And this is uh, the pinout for DisplayPort. 
So you can notice the um, the character uh, slanted edge on the DisplayPort cable here, and here are all the pins. And here, right here, is pin 20. And if you can see here on the pinout, pin 20 is DisplayPort power, power connector. The power for the connector, 3.3 volts and 500 milliamps, pin 20, DP power. And here's DisplayPort, pin 20 right here. So let's get a better example so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so what we have right here, hopefully you can see it now, is a pinout diagram of two devices connecting by display port on your far end here this is your sync device and that could be your monitor on the far end over here is your source device and that's typically something like a video card and you can see this is a display port connector on this end it's got 20 pins and display port connector on this end is 20 pins and what you see in the middle here is a standard display port cable and so the little blue side here, that's one end of the cable, and the pink side here is the other end of the cable. And so this is your cable, one end to one end. And these are the devices on either end that it connects. So as you go down the pins on the DisplayPort cable, you can see pin 1 here has connectivity to pin 12, pin 2 to pin 11, and each one of those pins has connectivity until you get down here to the bottom pin 20 and you can see here there's no line there is no connection between pin 20 and why is that it's because your sync device over here you can see as you go down the pins pin 20 in red here says display port power power out right here it says power out so your monitor has power out coming out of pin 20 and over here on your source device like which would be your graphics card going down the pins down to pin 20 here display port power and here in blue it says power out so your graphics card is putting out power and so now you have power coming out from either end and you do not want to have that connected in your cable Otherwise, you have power feeding from both ends, and that can cause damage. It backfeeds power between the monitor and the source device, and that can cause damage to your equipment. So now you can see why this is an issue and why it's potentially a really bad issue if you're not using a standard display port cable non-standard display port cables have connections between pin 20 on both ends of the cable and that is not good so one way you can check if you're electronically inclined is you can use a multimeter you grab a digital multimeter and you set it to its continuity setting and what you would need to do is take one of the leads and put it on pin 20, as I showed you in the diagram, on one end of your cable, and then take the lead and put it on pin 20 on the other end of your display port cable. And if it beeps, that means that you have connectivity between your pin 20s, and that is not a certified display port cable that's built to the Visa standard. When you connect those leads with continuity, and it doesn't beep, that's a good display port cable because you're not supposed to have a connection on pin 20. So hopefully that explains the issue, the display port pin 20 issue, and you can see that this is really, uh, um, really a, an issue that could seriously affect the, uh, the PC community. So I guess I need to answer one question is, why then does DisplayPort actually have voltage on those particular pins if it's going to cause damage when you normally connect it? Well, one of the reasons why is we can go to the Visa 
uh, website and there is a nice little presentation. Let me pull it up for you here. Okay, whoops, there you are. So as you can see here, the DisplayPort power pin, the reason why it has that 3.3 volts on there is because they use it to power adapters. So if you had a DisplayPort dongle that converted between DisplayPort and HDMI, that needs an active signal to actually exchange that signal between DisplayPort and HDMI. And so it needs power in order to do that. So DisplayPort conveniently put 3.3 volts on pin 20 so that if you use an active adapter, all you have to do is plug it into the port and it would get power and it can convert your signal using the power from the DisplayPort port. If DisplayPort didn't have that 3.3 volts on that particular pin, you would have to use uh, an external power adapter that plugs into a wall socket and provides power using a power brick and plug it into your adapter. But DisplayPort conveniently puts the voltage on that pin so that you can have an adapter that doesn't need external power. It gets its power from DisplayPort pin 20. And the only and the other applications are not just active adapters, as you can see here. If you've got a projector that you wanted to run from DisplayPort, one of those mini projectors that needed power, you can use that. Um, if you have a extra long DisplayPort cable that goes longer than the standard signal length, having power over pin 20 could actually help extend that signal and you can actually have a longer than usual, longer than normal display port cable that's able to reach further distances because the signal's boosted using power from pin 20. So that was the intent behind having power in pin 20, but they configured it specifically so that it would not supply power from its normal use between say a video card and a monitor. That's why it's very important to use a certified DisplayPort cable because DisplayPort has a standard for a reason because it's to really help with these particular applications that actually make DisplayPort a really great capability. Okay, so that's all really I wanted to cover and hopefully that answers the question and helps that person troubleshoot the issue that they were having. But more importantly, hopefully that raises awareness in the PC community about this DisplayPort Pin 20 issue. And we really need to let these graphics card companies know about this issue. But more importantly, those monitor manufacturers that tend to include these cheap DisplayPort cables in their monitors. While it sounds great at first that you're getting a free display port cable with your brand new monitor you could potentially be damaging your equipment because they decided to cheap out and use non-standard display port cables that they should be checking to make sure that they're display port certified okay so with that i am gonna go ahead and shut this stream down and hopefully that helps somebody out there and we are going to go ahead and let the music play me out of here. <laughs>